I'm here at the DNA Technologies stand at MedLab Middle East 2025, where I'm joined by Ekaterina. Ekaterina, good to see you, and thank you for joining us here, MedLab Middle East 2025. Uh, tell me, women's health diagnostics today, as a pathologist, as a biologist, what do you see as the key issues today? What is really important for every woman, her reproductive health. And reproductive health problems are closely associated with reproductive tract infections. Women are extremely vulnerable to different types of infections, including sexually transmitted diseases. But also antigenous infections are, are also important because antigenous infections, which are caused by uh, microorganisms present in a human body, uh, precisely in a reproductive tract of a woman, uh, they could be a cause of some very dangerous and health-threatening uh, conditions like postpartum uh, complications, uh, preterm birth, miscarriages, infertility, and uh, pelvic inflammatory diseases. So what is DNA Technologies doing to support women's health in this area? Well, DNA Technologies uh, developed uh, the test, uh, the PCR-based test, FEMAFLOR 16, which uh, allow us a comprehensive assessment of vaginal tract microbiota. This test allows us uh, to detect 16 groups of uh, bacteria and fungi, which include up to 98% of all vaginal microbiota. And what is very important that we can calculate the proportion of the predominant group of bacteria so we can tell if it's the normal stenosis of vaginal microbiota or maybe we are dealing with some kind of dysbiotic condition. Also, there are tests uh, which allow us to uh, determine uh, the antibiotic resistance genes of bacteria, which is important for choosing of the uh, appropriate uh, antibiotics for treatment of our patients. What's your take on the position that women should be examined as part of a couple? What's your take on that? Well, I think that men and women are living together, so they are living in couples, and that is why we have also to analyze men's urogenital microbiota as well. And we have uh, the Androfluor uh, test for assessing uh, male uh, genital microbiota. And uh, this test allows us to detect 24 groups of bacteria, including obligate pathogens like sexually transmitted diseases, well, like chlamydia trachomatis, nasera gonorrhea, mycoplasma genitalium, and trichomonas vaginalis, and also uh, a wide variety of opportunistic bacteria. And so we can compare microbiota of uh, people in a couple in order to uh, decide whether uh, both of them or maybe just one of the partners uh, needs some uh, treatment. So we'll have to leave it there for now, Katarina, but thank you so much for joining us. I have a terrific week here at MedLab Middle East 2025. Thank you very much.